going to tie a goat tone muddler. This is a B175 and it's a size 10. And I'm going to use a black tie-in thread. I'll wrap that on down level with the point of the hook here. So, uh, we're going to put in a tag, uh, or tip, or whatever you want to call it, but it's going to be sort of longish, and then the flat portion of the, of the hook here. So I'm going to take a bit of this Uni 14. It's a double-sided mylar. One side's gold, one side's silver, so I want silver, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie it with silver side down and gold side out to me. So then whenever I put the first wrap on, the silver side is uppermost. I'll wrap that round just till it starts to go round the bend. And then come back. On itself. Now this has been made much bigger than what we actually require it. But don't worry about that because the body is going to cover that. So for our tail we're going to use a golden pheasant skin and we're going to use one of these yellow feathers. Because we want a flat yellow tail. So what I'm going to do is just use the very center of that, so I'm just going to fold all these other bits back and this is what we're going to tie on as our tail. So I'm going to tie it in here at the point where it is split, hold this backwards and then I'm going to wrap back over that until I get level with the point of the hook again. And as you can see that has created a flat yellow tail. I don't throw this bit away here because you can actually repeat the process for the next fly, just pull that forward into a little V. So, I'm going to tie in now our silver oval rib. Tie that back again to the same point. And the body calls for Ballandary Black. Seals fur. Uh, Baldari black is a black with a sort of tinge of blue in it. So what I'm going to use here is sort of a black synthetic with a blue peacock sort of uh, bit of flash mixed in with something like glister or angel hair. It just gives a little bit of an accent through it. So this is a modeler. So I'm leaving a right bit of room here at the front. And any of these bits and bobs that's sticking. Right, I'm just going to give it a go. So hackle. Uh, a black one, or a balandary black if you have it. Tie it in by its base. And then we're going to hammer that down. Now usually what I'd do is put on one full or two full turns at the front here to create a sort of like a collar hackle and then take this back in as many turns as suits your own fancy. Now that's three turns to the back but you could easily do that in uh, five if you wanted to bush your fly and then we rib up through the hackle and tie off the silver rib at the front. Now we're going to put on an unusual sort of hackle. This is a peacock hackle now. I happen to have a peacock skin so I can get small hackles off it but if you're just buying a pack of peacock they'll generally be quite big in which case what you'd want to do is pull off some fibres and tie them in as like a fake hackle. So here I'm going to tie this one in by its base because this sort of feather tends to wrap better and behave better tied in by the base than by a double tip. 
very fragile, fiddly sort of a hackle so I'm just holding it in place with my finger as I wrap it. It's also very short stock so you're only going to get one turn. So once I've one turn on that and then pull this back just wrap to make the space to tie my muddler head on. So we're going to go for a black muddler head so I have a bit of black dyed deer hair here. I'm going to cut off a bunch of that. Again you can go as heavy or as sparse as you feel like on this. I'm using the tips of the deer hair here as a fake hackle as per usual. I place that on, allow it to splay around the hook and hold it in place with my left hand. Then I place on two loose wraps of my tan thread, trim that off and then I tighten that up and it'll spin when it's flared out I get a few wraps into it just to hold it in position. Take my tan thread through the hair to just behind the eye if you pull that back out of the way get a few turns or half hitches in there and trim it off. So that is the fly tied bar fixing the head. So you could use uh, use varnish if you feel like but I'm going to use super glue. I'm just going to pull this stuff back, get a wee bit of super glue just in there onto my tie and thread. Flip the fly around and do the same tiny little dab in and then just push it back with your thumb and that will form your head for you and that is our fly finished a goat's toe muddler and that peacock blue in it gives it a lovely subdued sort of iridescence to it